Hello everyone and welcome to the Extreme Tech channel. So for today's video guys, uh, I prepared a little replacement and uh, repair and upgrade of the fire station. So we're gonna make uh, three cuts here on uh, this existing line. We're gonna chop some pipe, uh, add some new butterfly valve and uh, just gonna show you the steps and uh, things how we tackle uh, how we tackle the things in the field as you can see this is uh, my partner pipe feeder and uh, he's uh, he's chopping out a piece of the pipe this is where we're gonna put some flanges it's gonna be just uh, slip on flanges and we're gonna install the butterfly valve fire line stations uh, in the power plant are typically located uh, strategically throughout the facility uh, to provide quick and uh, reliable access to water in the uh, event of fire. Usually those stations are uh, equipped with uh, pumps, valves and other necessary equipment to ensure that water can be delivered to the fire rapidly and effectively. So as you can see here, uh, we're just going to put a chain uh, chain grip on a, on a pipe and uh, he already measured the distance for the, for the gap we have to have uh, for that uh, slip on flange just gonna attack uh, put some bolts make sure that butterfly uh, valve fits in perfectly uh, orientation and then later now he's gonna cut uh, that piece of pipe here and then we're gonna install the new uh, uh, T that be, it's been already prefabbed and uh, welded and then we're gonna install that one and it's gonna be two two welds so I got just uh, Two flange, two slip on flanges, and it's gonna be two butt welds for this one. Okay, as you can see here, uh, there is um, there is some. This is an uh, existing pipe. There's a lots of uh, impurities uh, and everything, so we have to clean that. And once we bevel, uh, it's gonna be PT test. As you can see here, uh, the pipe's gotta be prepped, bevel, and then the QC guy is gonna do PT. So we got a little bit of fire here, uh, it's uh, the cleaning product we used uh, just to, to remove all that uh, grease and uh, it's like an, it was like an oil and grease uh, dirty so when I strike an arc it was uh, set uh, on fire a little bit. And uh, that's it pretty much uh, for the slip on flanges, it's not a science fiction, just gotta do one inside and one on the bottom. Just gonna go like two passes, uh, two or three passes. It's pretty much fillet weld. I'm just running uh, 7018 uh, 1 8 for this one. Okay, now once uh, the welds are done on the both sides, uh, the QC is going to run a PT test. As I said, PT test has a penetra testing. Uh, that's often used as a part of quality control. It's a process to, to detect any surface uh, breaking defects of cracks in pipes uh, before they're put in use. That's what uh, pretty much is uh, uh, mostly uh, used as uh, in, a, in existing pipe that's been already in service. And then after set of time, uh, when the penetrant is removed and then they apply uh, that white spray just uh, to see for any visible indication of defects uh, to appear on the surface uh, of the material. If there is nothing uh, appears, I say it's good to go. In this case, everything is good. The prep was good. Uh, my partner did a really good job cleaning and prepping all that. Now I'm just gonna start, uh, we're gonna start tack, we're gonna feed that uh, tea. I'm just gonna prep here for TIG, uh, Tungsten 1.8. As always, I'm gonna set up Argon for my TIG torch around uh, 40 PSI. And now we're gonna do some, uh, some prepping uh, to feed up that tea.
There's a picky work uh, a little bit. You want to have everything line up uh, square. You want everything uh, have a bolt up before you start any welding. Have everything in place. And then uh, once everything is here, then we can we can put uh, tacks one side then you put a tack on the other side it's just uh checking for a uh, for a fine tune and then i'm gonna start welding as you can see here uh the gap is like close one eight uh it's not a little bit uh, even so i'm gonna shave a little bit i'm just gonna run uh, i'm just gonna run a zip cut or a one eight uh, to open up the gap a little bit uh, remove the pipe burrs after I run a grinder and then I'm going to run a, a TIG root. As you can see here I'm running a 1.8 rod. There's enough room on both sides. One side got a little bit more room but that's okay, it's a field weld. There's nothing perfect. Uh, if, you got, if you don't have much space, uh, as I said, uh, grab a grinder, open up a little bit. Uh, you want to you want to have enough room so you can feed that rod. Uh, as I show on, uh, on the beginning, uh, the amps uh, for this one is like 126. 126 uh, for the root pass. So once when the root pass is done, uh, the QC is going to run uh, another test. Uh, it's uh, empty. Or a magnetic uh, particle test. So up for this route, uh, just pretty much uh, like uh, I always uh, show you guys in my videos uh, for the route pass technique. This one I'm just uh, keeping rod, uh, just constant feed technique, uh, stretching paddle side to side. Uh, those two welds are considered as uh, closure welds, uh, so that's why all that PT, MT procedures uh, in place. Uh, there is no x-ray, uh, but still, we have to satisfy uh, norms and standards. Okay, that's the root. Uh, did the bottom bottom part, the back side on the, on the both sides. Uh, the root looks good. I'm just going to continue on this side. Okay, now as I said, uh, once the route is done, uh, then the QC is going to run uh, the test. It's an uh, empty or uh, magnetic particle test. It's uh, commonly used to detect surface and uh, near surface defect in, uh, in a material. And uh, after there is no any indication of any cracks, uh, then I'm uh, good to go. Now he's just gotta take a final picture uh, with his uh, initials that everything is okay. Usually that, text, uh, that test is looking for the surface defects or uh, cracks uh, due to magnetic field and then creates a little bit of visible indications on a, on a defect. Okay, I'm just gonna write uh, what I did to just uh, fill to flash in one pass. Both sides. And I'm just start with a capping. And that's it pretty much. Uh, the cap is done. That's all welded. Uh, all tests uh, were done. Uh, those two slip on flanges and a butterfly valve. And now the fire line station is uh, it's uh, pretty much good to go. So a little bit modification. Uh, this is just a little bit video to show you guys uh, on a, on a daily basis uh, what we're we doing, how we tackling uh, the job we got, and it's always done in a safely manner and done on time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one, guys. Bye.